Hi, I'm Stephen Cronin and today I thought we'd paint this little scene I've got here on my screen. So let's have a look at it. And this is the river that flows around Kingsbury Water Park. There's some nice reflections here we can work with. But let's have a look at the materials first so you can paint along with me. This is my palette. I'll just get it around the right way. We've got ultramarine, cadmium yellow, Payne's grey, glycerin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. I mean, large Ron Ranson hate brush and... Uh, there will be some 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper, I haven't got it out yet. So let's have a quick look at the photo again and then let's get cracking. I'm going to start off with the big brush and this is going to be clean water, just wetting the paper all over, just to stop it everything off, move all the background looking nice and soft. And I'm going to start with a little bit of so a bit of yellow in there as well. I'm just going to work that down to the bottom of the page. Just to give the just to give the paper some bit of bit of colour, something to work with. I'm going to clean the brush and I'm going to try and create some sort of light effect. So to do that I'm going to have to darken the edges. So I'm going to go ultramarine. Let's put a bit of light red with it. Ultramarine. The paint's grey now as well. The what will be the water down the bottom. It's brushing in from either side. Few little clouds in the sky. A bit of glycerin, a bit of Payne's grey. A few little clouds up there, not too many. The horizon's quite high, so I don't want to put too much in. That's all I'm going to do for that. Now we've got to put these distant, well, the furthest trees on the far side of the bank, which are just up there, and because the pipe is still wet, I can just pull down the reflections as I'm giving along. A bit of ultramarine in there as well, just to mix it up a bit. I'm just going to work all the way along. It might need a few little, a few little white paint. with a tissue. Just pulling down those reflections. And what I can see also there's some houses just above the tree line that I can just about make out. So I'm just going to take a bit of switch to a flat brush, go on a sharp sharp edge for the houses. And then I'm just going to Pop those in, just about to see them in the distance. There's one there. There's one there. Just something there, just give the impression of something there. So we're coming slightly closer, so I'm at a bit of ultramarine, a bit of lemon yellow. Now this is stronger, I think it's coming closer towards us, so it's a stronger mix. Not lemon yellow, it's cadmium yellow in it. Bit of Payne's grey in there. And it's getting closer and closer. And right there. Get those reflections down there. And also it's just a few little twigs and branches. Don't forget to put the reflections in below. I like to go overboard with them. Now, on this side there, there's some, there's a bank. First thing I'm going to do is just pull this tight so the uh, paper's flat against this piece of plywood that I fix it to. Just using these bulldog clips. And then I'll get cracking on this right-hand side bank. 
I was going to dry it. I don't think I need to dry it actually. I'll, I'll leave it as it is for now. Um, I want a dark colour, so I'm going to bother cleaning the brush. I'm just going to go straight into a bit of burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine. Just a little bit of that yellow there as well. And then so I want it on strong. I can get away with that. that that's all right. Okay, nice and dark, just to contrast against the distant water, distant um, trees there on the uh, horizon line. I'm just going to bring that down. Now I've got it in dark, so I'm just going to switch to slightly lighter. So to do that, I've got to clean the brush so I can get back to a lighter colour. A little bit of lemon yellow. I keep saying lemon yellow, cadmium yellow. A bit of uh, raw sienna. Let's get that a little bit lighter in there. And then I can always go back a little bit darker then, just to, just to bear it really. And I'm going to go a bit of burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine, and sweep this bit of bank there. A bit of blue, a bit of brown, a bit of Payne's grey. What I might do is just get the uh, card, just scratching a few little pebbles. Like little, some little stones here down the little, little shore here, only small. Just using the corner of a plastic card, this is like an old, like a credit card or whatever, whatever you've got to hang. Just tiny little scrapings. All I'm doing, I'm just going to the back to wipe the paint by scraping the paint to one side. Give the uh, the noise. This this it's an old easel. It's uh, there's something rattling in there. I'm quite sure what it is. That's enough of those. Um, so you could put. I'll just put like a little brown bank or something just to break up that. I'll put that in too. Right. Much. There's a little bit of grass there, so I might just clean the brush again. I need to squeeze the water out because this needs to be pretty dry now. Because I'm going, I'm going to go with big dollops of paint onto wet paint, so I don't want any more water on the brush. I just want to create some green. So I'm just going to go into this cadmium yellow. And just pop. Add a bit of ultramarine to it. Little bits of grass on there. There's a few little tufts. Tufts up there. Right now there is like a little. There's a tree up there. I'm just waiting for this bit to dry. I think I might have a go at it now. So I'm just going to go into. I want a dark colour, so a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Sure that's wet, nice and wet. And just a little tree up there. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's dry enough now to work with. Just got like a load of little branches coming out. Holding the uh, the end of the rigger brush and then just letting the brush do all the work. And you can see a few little reflections down there in the water. So I put those reflections in. They don't have to be exact as long as they're there or thereabouts. It'll give the impression of water. And there's, there's something round the back there. And then 
That went over that part there quite nicely. All the threads in there. I think I'm almost there. All I need to do, all I'm going to do next, is just, just going to throw a little, little man fishing, I think, just on that little corner there. Uh, it's just a. Uh, where should we put him? Just about there. I want him little. I want him tiny. Eh? Well, I'm just doing little dots just to give the impression of something reflected there in the water. Yeah, just a little, just a little impression of a rod. And I think I'm going to leave it at that, I think. Maybe just a little, little birds in the sky up there. And then finally, I'm just going to stick my name in the corner. I'm going to call that one finished. So let's put a mount on that to see what it looks like. So this is the finished paint with a mount on. So if we compare it to the photograph, I've not really changed a great deal. I've kept the composition pretty much the same. The only little thing I've spotted is sort of got this the, the, the water line here just continues all the way around, it's almost at the same level. But here it sort of continues around and then it sort of it, the, it, the right goes up. It's almost like a bit of water around here. I've, I've just done that purely by accident. But starting with the sky, sky was a bit of a mismatch really, a bit of raw sienna and a bit of cadmium yellow coming down, creating this sort of lighter area down the middle. Ultramarine either side with a few few clouds there, and then you can just about see in the distance just just the rooftops here of the, of the hard house that you could see in the photograph, just scattered here and there. Furthest trees here, I paint, just trying to get this sort of autumn gold effect. Could have made be a bit stronger in tone really, just to make them stand out a bit more. But then in saying that, the, the lighter tone then does help this closer tree stand out with its uh, dark tones itself, nice bit of contrast. Again, not remember the, see the reflections there in the photograph. Always remember to put your reflections in, just helps create, the, helps make the water look a bit more realistic. See this sort of little foreground shore here with all these little pebbles and stones here. It's all I did, just washed in, just brushed in some uh, burnt umber and ultramarine, dark mix and then just scraped out using the card these little stones and pebbles all along the little shoreline and then no real focal point in the photograph so I've added just a very simple little fisherman but it just gives a gives a focal point to the scene don't forget the little reflection down below just to complete it well that's it for for today I hope you like that thanks for watching keep practicing any questions please ask don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments down below I'd like to hear your feedback. So, happy painting and I'll see you again soon.